Hey everybody, this is a video that's been requested by viewers like you. I went ahead and bought two knives from Elemental Knives, elementalknives.com. They do game replica knives, and these are both from CSGO. So I have ordered up two separate ones. One is a flip knife in the fade skin right here. Oh, it comes a little uh, sheet of paper. I don't care about that. Nice little presentation. Looks like this was upside down. But that's all good. And then the other one is a fixed blade knife. This is the Huntsman in the Crimson Web skin. So these are sold as replicas. They're not sold as proper knives to use, but I wanted to check them out regardless because many of you were asking about them and wanted to know about them. So I'm gonna look at these one by one, starting with this flipper here, the flip knife with the fade skin. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, hey, it's my first time touching it. Uh, a little bit of oil on it, not a problem, I'll get that off. But so, uh, first impressions are actually quite good much better than i expected this uh, appears to be g10 here and i'm liking this operation this uh, cnc milling operation that chamfered the edge on each scale it came all the way down into here now it does yeah it leaves a little bit i was looking at it and saying that's going to leave a little bit of a sharp edge right there just a little bit of sharp edge but uh, you can easily just file that down a little bit uh, the thing feels substantial it has good weight to it let's see in the hand it's actually made for hands of a good size folks with really small hands might not actually be able to hold this as well as as you might like the ergonomics are pretty good i think that uh, if i was even taller and or larger this would fit me even better the uh, back spacer here is anodized all the way through. What they do is they take a, a very, very fine layer of a titanium material and they basically uh, fuse it onto the blade and then do a little bit of heat treatment and it creates this nice rainbow effect. So that's not paint or anything like that. It's actually kind of embedded into the blade. It's a, pretty much a mirror finish on this thing. Um, wow, the joint is tight. In there there's there's no play if anything it's a little bit on the stiff side oh look at this this lock is nice and safe too it locks all the way over that's what I like to see metal liners in here yeah if anything it's a little bit too stiff so I might just loosen that up just a little bit right at the swivel but overall things are looking pretty good so far level of sharpness on the blade exists there is a level of sharpness it's not significant, but you can cause some damage with it. I would recommend sharpening it before using it for anything. Although the serration, the serrated area is very sharp, especially at the tips, not unexpectedly. Oh, it's uh, serrated from both sides. Typically you'll see serration from just one side, it makes it a lot easier to, uh, to sharpen. So this is gonna be a little bit tougher to sharpen, doing it from both sides. Uh, this is a fake fake lock right here totally fake it's not a spring assisted model you know full two-handed or you know, thumb stud opening but like i said it's a little bit a little bit on the stiff side a little bit but uh, it does work the worst thing about these is something that you can't see here it's the blade material they say right on the site it's made from uh, 420 stainless steel which is a rating it has to do with how it's made, what alloys are used in it. And that is a fairly soft material to use for a knife. As a matter of fact, it's far too soft to use for a knife to actually uh, sharpen up. I don't know if it's hardened. I would expect it to not be hardened at all, which means that it's not going to hold an edge. So this is not something that you want to actually use to cut things. Uh, if you're familiar with knives at all, if you've used knives, proper knives, uh, I'm sure that you will find this one to go Dell very quickly. It's interesting this has a reversible clip on it. That's a nice little luxury. The thing looks good and it feels like it's made well. For a replica item, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Yeah, so far, let me actually pull out the fixed blade now, the Huntsman. Whoa! That is much more substantial than I expected, but does not look as good as I expected actually. Once again, the uh, quality seems pretty good. This is nice texturing here. This is a uh, molded, uh, 
FRP, fiber reinforced plastic, plastic, it's a fibrous, fiber containing uh, composite between a couple of different compounds typically. And these are molded, I mean, there's a little bit of flashing around the edges. I believe that the design here is a water transfer, at least that's what I would expect. Although I'm not recognizing the blend. I don't have enough familiarity with, with water transfers to, to, to look for kind of the signs and what it's supposed to look like around the edges. The saw back here is <laughs> just for looks. Um, oh, it does have uh, hollow grinds, so that's nice. Uh, all three grinds are hollowed out. It's a little bit uneven in here, but I really don't like the look of this finish. It looks plastic. It's not plastic at all. This thing has some serious weight to it. All that's metal. All that's stainless steel. All that you see is red. It's just covered underneath. It looks like this. Level of sharpness here is almost non-existent. There's a little bit here. It has a, has a burr on it on one side. Yeah, it works a little bit better from this side, but that's going to be a little bit tough to, to sharpen up. And you see that the, the edge was probably cut just from one angle, as expected. Again, it's a replica item. It's not supposed to be a proper knife. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I wish that it looked a little bit uh, less plasticky, a little bit less glossy, monochromatic with the dark red. I feel like it could use some, some depth in there, but I do like the molding here. I do wish that it was cleaned up a little bit better. A little bit of uh, some aggressive knurling right there. Wow, really aggressive. Uh, maybe just a little bit, a little bit sharper around the edges again. Just a little bit of filing would go a long way. Feels good in the hand. Definitely feels good in the hand. Very uh, tip heavy, of, of course. That's by design. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is for because you're never going to hold it like this ever for any reason. There's no reason to hold it like this. You know, if you're chopping, you're going to be coming from back here. Uh, yeah, no matter what. If you're trying to get more control, your thumb is going to come up here. No matter how, what size your hand is, your thumb is going to come up here somehow. But all that aside, looks pretty good and it's pretty solid. I'm definitely not as impressed with this as I am with this. What I'm going to do now is take a break in the video and uh, it'll be instant for you, but I'm going to spend some quality time on a couple sharpening rigs and actually try to get some edges out of these and uh, see how that turns out. Okay, so in the real world, 56 minutes have transpired since I left here with these knives to get them sharpened up. Uh, I learned a lot during the process. First of all, I was able to get a pretty nice edge on this one, as expected. Uh, it doesn't feel like it has relaxed yet. I did this one first. Soft metals will sometimes relax back, uh, definitely able to cut some hair there so that's good but many people don't realize uh, by the way don't do this do not do this if you are not very familiar with blades uh, you can cut yourself very badly uh, potentially even kill yourself seriously don't try to show off doing something like this until you are very experienced with blades you know what you're doing you know how to handle them well but I'm just demonstrating that you can get a good edge off of, off of something like this. But uh, many people don't realize that uh, the sharpest edges that you get for shape, shaving and such are frequently done with very soft metals, such as straight edge razor, razors. They are extremely soft metal, which is why they're able to get such a nice edge on such a thin thing, but they have to be stropped every single time you cut because they become dull every single time you cut. And these are very soft metals, both of them. Uh, this one I was able to get through actually very quickly, most of the time I've spent on this one, but uh, I was just able to put it in, in a jig and go through uh, sharpening down this edge very quickly. I actually reprofiled it, so I took it to a, a completely fresh uh, edge and shape all the way around. It was a little bit different in angle on one side than the other, not too much of a difference, but yeah, you can sharpen these to the point where they will cut, I don't think they are hardened at all, and I was able to remove material extremely quickly. I mo removed material with my, my hones, my sharpening stones, more quickly with, with this than any other knife uh, that I have sharpened to date, and I have sharpened dozens of really cheap knives. 
This one uh, took a lot longer because there are so many different uh, angles here. You know, there's this, there's this, there's this, and then this has to be done with something rounded. Oh yeah, I did use a, a little round thing to, to get into the serrations, just to touch that up a little bit, but the serrations are fine. Uh, here, the difference in angle from one side to the other is more than 10 degrees. That's significant. So this side here has about a 20 degree original angle, and I just stayed with that, so I honed it. I didn't uh, completely reprofile it. This side was over 30 degrees. It was something in the range of uh, 34 degrees or so, so that's pretty steep on this side. And like I said, it's, it's, it's difficult um, by virtue of just the de design, having to do that all by hand. Uh, so this one ended up uh, being a little bit more rough, and I didn't get as good of an edge on it. But, like I said, the biggest thing that I learned from this process was that the metals are indeed quite soft by virtue of uh, just how quickly I was able to, to move a lot of material off of them. And uh, I don't recommend using either of these to cut with at all. They are very nice replicas, though. And I feel like I actually got a reasonable value, more so with this one for sure. This could be sold for like 15 bucks. It could be, it's possible, if it was made in huge quantities. It's not made in huge quantities. It's also marketed towards a very select group. And uh, I think it's a reasonable value. I like the value on this better. There's more done here, you know, there's more to this, and it's a little bit more reasonable to use as a real knife. That said, though, uh, you've seen me review some other knives, actual knives, something like this, you can get for about 15 bucks, and this is a real knife, a proper knife. It's even spring assisted, and uh, this will actually cut. You can get this very, very sharp, and it'll hold its edge for a while. You can get something fancier. You know, if you want something that looks mean, you just want the, the look, you know, with better metal, at least 440. For 50 bucks in a fixed blade, you can get something like this. This is a buck, which is also a very nice knife. Uh, for 30, 40 bucks, you can get something like this, more of a, a Finnish uh, style, Finnish as in Finland, uh, or Nordic kind of style, very nice knives good material, easy to, to sharpen, just, you know, good stuff for actually using. Don't think about using these. If you like how they look, then uh, I do recommend getting one. If you're into, especially, particularly if you're into to CSGO and you want a little piece of the game and that, that collectability of the weapon skins and such, then yeah, you see something that's in stock, and it looks good to you. You want to get something in a nice presentation box, especially the, the fixed blade ones, where you can have it all the way open like this. It's actually nice, and uh, yeah, I, I think that they have done a pretty good job here, and if they're providing a nice service to fans. For the last time, I will repeat, if you want something to cut with, forget about it. 